Good evening, Jaguars, and welcome to our first virtual student organization and leadership celebration. We're very excited to have all of you join us as we recognize our exceptional student leaders, organizations, and advisors at UHV. This celebration is accumulation of a year's worth of hard work for our student leaders, advisors, staff, and faculty. Despite the challenges of the past year, this is a celebration of accomplishments. So please don't hold back your virtual applause throughout the night. Well, before we begin, I would like to talk a little bit about our three awesome student MCs for the evening. They're actually your 2021 Royal Jaguars. Dominique Flores, Noemi Bustamante, and Eli Juma. Dominique, a senior political science major from San Antonio, is actively involved with the Student Government Association as the Chief Justice. And he also has an on-campus job at our Jaguar Hall Dining. Noemi is a senior from Houston and will be graduating this spring. During her time at UHV, she has worked as a residence assistant, a student assistant in the School of Arts and Sciences, a student director in career services, and as a teaching assistant in the biology department. Ellie is a super senior from Sabinaw, majoring education. He is also actively involved in SGA as a director of student organizations, and he works as a student director in student life. Without further ado, I would like to welcome one of your MCs to the podium, Mr. Dominique Flores. Thank you, Hillary. I'm delighted to be here tonight to recognize all the hard work and dedication from our student leaders, organizations, and advisors. Being involved in a student organization or being a campus leader is not easy. Many of our students had multiple positions in different organizations, volunteered during their free time, as well as hold jobs on and off campus. Many hours are provided to create a fun, engaging culture at UHV. Many of the student-run programs and events come from the Division of Student Affairs, and I'd like to provide a quick overview of the year. Despite the pandemic and moving events to a virtual platform, Student Life was still able to facilitate over 100 virtual programs, events, and social media challenges aimed to enhance students' intellectual and social development. Student Life hosted our first virtual ROAR Leadership Conference with over 100 attendees joining from the comfort of their own home. They have continued to grow the ROAR Certified Leader Program, which you'll hear more about later. Both the conference and certified leader program aim to develop students' marketable skills for the workplace. We hosted over 30 diversity and inclusion events and programs, including our first RISE Diversity Conference. We also hosted events for National Volunteer Week, including opportunities on campus in the Victoria and Houston area, as well as virtually. JP's Market, our free food pantry at UHV, continues to be an exciting initiative on campus. The market, with the support of the Food Bank of the Golden Crescent and many generous donors, including students, faculty, and staff members, has served a total of 253 UHV and VC students this year and has provided over 8,500 pounds of food. New procedures were implemented in the market to enforce social distancing, including an online order system. With the support of SGA and our homecoming committee, we were able to host our first virtual homecoming week, JAG Stay Homecoming, and it was a great success. We truly appreciate all the hard work our students, faculty, and staff have put into making this year the best that it could be considering their circumstances. Now, I'd like to welcome Noemi to the podium. Thank you, Dominic, for that year in review. At this time, we would like to recognize our new student organizations here at UHV. This past year has been a challenge for everyone, including our student orgs. We're very proud to charter these organizations who have met the criteria and were approved by the Committee on Student Organizations. When we announce your organization's name, please come forward to receive your chartered award. The Multicultural Advisory Council. Zai Alpha Rho. Thank you. Thank you. 
Our other new student organization was unable to join us today, so please watch this video to hear from them. All right, well, thank you, Lena, for meeting with me today. I know that um, you're in Katy, so you're unable to join us in person, but I'm excited that you had the time to talk with me. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys your awesome chartered certificate. Uh, your organization has met the criteria and has been approved by the Committee on Student Organizations. So this is your beautiful chartered certificate that we will be mailing to y'all. Yay. We're so excited. Yay. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Keep up the good work there in Katy. And congrats to our accounting club of Katy. Yay. Let's give our newly chartered student organizations a virtual round of applause. Now, we'd like to recognize those students who have earned one or more certifications in our ROAR Certified Leader Program. This program aims to facilitate leadership development and help students think critically and grow in four essential areas, communication, problem solving, social responsibility, and teamwork. These four areas were emphasized because they have been identified as marketable skills employers seek in their future employees. I'll start by recognizing our 2019 to 2020 ROAR certified leaders. These students completed all four leadership certifications, making them distinguished ROAR certified leaders. Candice Kubeka. Eugene Kruger, Sarah Alexander. Now I'd like to recognize our 2020 to 2021 Distinguished ROAR Certified Leaders. All of these recipients received digital badges, a frame certificate, graduation cords for each certification, and a pad folio to take with them on future interviews. Let's give all of these individuals a virtual round of applause. Now I'd like to welcome Ellie to the podium as we recognize individuals and organizations for an outstanding year. Thanks, Noemi. The selection of these awards were on an application basis and determined by COSO. Along with the awards, the recipients of the Volunteer, Student Organization Member, and Student Organization of the Year will be honored with their names engraved on a large plaque inside the Center of Student Involvement in the University Commons Building. The Emerging Leader of the Year Award recognizes a member of a student organization that has been active less than two years but displays exceptional leadership potential. This individual started out her journey at UHV in the fall of 2020 as a non-traditional transfer student, and she immediately joined the UHV Student Government Association as a senior senator. She was later appointed in the position of Speaker of the Senate and sits on two committees within the UHV Diversity and Race Task Force. We are honored to present the Emerging Leader of the Year Award to Wendy Hughes. Congrats, Wendy. I'm excited to announce that we actually have two Emerging Leader of the Year Awards to hand out today. Our second winner lives in Katy and she couldn't be with us today, but please watch this video to find out who the winner is. Okay, well, hi Stephanie. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Uh, I know that you're unable to join us in person since you're in Katy, but I do have something exciting to share with you. Um, previously mentioned that you have been nominated for an award and you're actually receiving one of our awards, our Emerging Leader of the Year Award. So, yay! So uh, this, I'm sorry, what? I was just, wow, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, that this award recognizes a member of a student organization that has been active less than two years, but displays exceptional leadership potential. So yay, so awesome. And one of your nominators actually said that that you are there to do the duties without any external motives needed, that you always have a smile on your face when you do things and you're always up for new challenges and they really think that you have a bright uh, future in leadership. So I'm really honored to present this award to you and yeah. Thank you so much, Hillary. Um, uh, my secret nominator, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I have an idea of who it could be 
but just, I, you know, I'm just so thrilled. So thank you so much. I'm so happy. Well, congrats. And I will have your award in the mail to you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Hillary. Appreciate it. What a great way to start an award celebration. Two winners on one award. I love it. Our next award is the Leadership Legacy Award, which recognizes a student leader whose long-term dedication and commitment has made a positive impact on the UHV campus. The student has worked in multiple departments and one of her nominators said, this student is a natural born leader for the fact that she has not only displayed leadership for new members to follow, but plays an active role in making sure that these new members grow in, conf in confidence in their abilities to become leaders themselves. I'm pleased to announce that the Leadership Legacy Award goes to Noemi Bustamante. Next is a Quiet Influencer Award. Please watch to see who our Quiet Influencer is this year. Okay, well, hi Frederica. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Well, I know you're unable to join us in person, but I do have some news for you. Um, as I mentioned in the email I sent you, I've been nominated for an award and you are actually receiving our Quiet Influencer of the Year Award. Congrats. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> So I'm let me excited. tell you about this award. Yes, it's so exciting. Um, so this award recognizes a, a student that puts their heart and soul into everything they do, but often goes unrecognized or works behind the scenes. So I think that definitely, that's definitely a Frederica. <laughs> so uh, your nominator actually said that Frederica goes above and beyond for MAC, which is our Multicultural Advisory Council as she promotes the organization by nature rather than obligation. She promotes MAC because she wants students to enjoy the organization, help plan, and help build a friendly community within campus life. So yay! Oh my God, that's so <laughs> sweet. Could I know who said that? I'll, I'll let you know, I'll let okay. you know. <laughs> but yes, we're just so honored to present this award to you and I will have it in the mail to you shortly. So congrats again. Thank you so much. It's been an honor being able to take part in the club. At first I was concerned because the whole pandemic and starting a new club online. But fortunately, as we kept doing more and more events, we got people who kept on coming back. And it just makes it more worthwhile. I get excited. I'm like, oh my God, we get to do this for them. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much and congrats. Thank you. Congrats to Frederica. Now, I'd like to welcome Dominic back to the podium to announce more of our winners. Thanks, Ellie. The Student Employee Excellence Award is given to students who demonstrate excellence in their position working on or off campus. The committee was pleased to select two well-deserving students for the award this year. Words used to describe these students included hardworking, dependable, self-motivated, courteous, and a great addition to the team. We are honored to present the Student Employee Excellence Award to the following students. Brian Sturm, Library, Kristen Vela, UHV Help Desk. The Student Volunteer of the Year Award is granted to a student who has shown an outstanding amount of dedication to the Victoria and UHV community through service and volunteering. Their nominator said, he is an outstanding volunteer and is always eager to offer help to anyone. His positivity and energy are noticed by many at UHV. We are proud to present the Student Volunteer of the Year Award to Ellie Juma. The Student Government Member of the Year recognizes an individual that has showcased outreach to the community and student body. This person has shown leadership and has contributed to the growth of SGA. The nominator said she is very easy to talk to, she's always open-minded and without judgment. She works hard and holds everyone else to the same standard she holds herself to, making her lift her teammates to levels they didn't know were possible. 
We are honored to present the Student Government Representative of the Year Award to Molly Duke. Congrats, Molly. And now I'd like to welcome Noemi back to the podium. Thanks, Dom. Next will be our Advisor of the Year Award. Please watch this video recognizing the exceptional staff advisor. All right, awesome. Well, um, Rosemary, I just want to thank you for, for meeting with me today. I know that you're actually in Katy, so uh, you're unable to join us in person, but I wanted to share some exciting news. Um, as I mentioned that uh, you have been nominated for award and you actually are receiving our advisor of the year award. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So just to share a little bit about um, this award, it recognizes a student organization advisor who provides outstanding support to the organization and has a positive impact on the students as well as the university community. And one of your nominators actually said that Ms. McCusker is a true leader. She has both patience and integrity, and all of us officers know that we can go to her with anything and that she's always there to help us and guide us. So yay, congrats. Oh, well, thank you so much. That is such a pleasure and a privilege, and it's on behalf of all the students we serve. Um, if we have the chance to lift their wings a little bit, I'm so happy to accept it. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Business Student Association, I should say. Yay. Yes, I forgot to mention that you're, well, you're the advisor for the Business Student Association. <laughs> so congrats again. We will have your award in the mail to you shortly. And yeah, just congrats. Oh, thank you so much. It's the first year I've done this, so uh, it's a true honor. Thank you. The Student Organization Member of the Year Award recognizes a student leader who has provided outstanding service, commitment and strong leadership to a student organization and to UHV. The nominee will have made a meaningful contribution to members of their organization. Her nominator said she has left her mark and an example of how hard work pays off. SGA would not have been where it is today without the dedication over the past three years to better the organization as well as the school as a whole. She is well deserving of this award and we are honored to present the Student Organization Member of the Year Award to Tiara Figueroa. The Student Organization of the Year is awarded to a student organization that demonstrated consistency, flexibility, initiative, creativity, and perseverance in the past school year. This organization will have made a meaningful contribution to students, the university, and the surrounding community. Their nominator said that their events and meetings brought to light many important topics and cultures. In light of recent events in the world, their relevance promoted unity on campus and allowed for us to feel safe and included. We are proud to present the student organization of the Year Award to the Multicultural Advisory Council. Congrats to Mac. Let's give all of our winners so far a big virtual round of applause and a job well done. Now, I would like to welcome your outgoing Student Government Association President, Tiara Figueroa, who will be presenting our final awards as well as her farewell address. Thank you, Noemi. I am proud and honored to present these final awards, which are supported through SGA. First, we will be our Spirit of the Jaguar, which recognizes underclassmen who display integrity and respect. The students selected are actively involved at UHV and encompass what it means to be a Jaguar. We would like to congratulate the following individuals on being awarded for the Spirit of the Jaguar and who will also be receiving a $500 scholarship from SGA. Our first award goes to Daisy Maldonado. Our second award goes to Jaira Jenkins. Our third award goes to Jacqueline Valesquez.
And our final Spirit of the Jaguar Award goes to Marilyn Medina. Congrats, Jaguars. Next, I would like to introduce the two videos announcing the I Am UHV winners and the Campus Humanitarian of the Year winner. All right, so this, uh, this next scholarship is the SGA I Am UHV Scholarship. So this is for upperclassmen, junior, seniors, or graduate students that are returning to UHV in the fall. So there was $1,250 up for grabs, a $750 prize for first place and $500 for second place. So here we're gonna announce the second place $500 scholarship recipient. So let's give a big round of applause to our second place award recipient winning $500, Miss Lisa Seidenberger. Congratulations, Lisa. Let's check out Lisa's video. Hi, my name is Lisa Seidenberger and I'm a senior at the University of Houston, Victoria. I'm a kinesiology major with a concentration in pre-allied health. After I graduate with my kinesiology degree, I would like to attend an accelerated nursing program to become a registered nurse in 15 months. After I become an RN, I would like to further my education and become a nurse practitioner, and then hopefully one day open my own medical spa or cosmetic clinic. I am the youngest of three sisters who all attended college. My parents are retirement age and only continue working so they can fund my education. I would really benefit from the scholarship to help them out a portion of what they've given to me. Thank okay, y'all. So we announced our second place uh, scholarship recipient for the IMUHV scholarship. So now it's time uh, to announce our first place scholarship winner, the winner of a $750 scholarship. Let's give a big round of applause to Ms. Sarah Stanilin. Sarah, congratulations. Let's check out Sarah's video now. Hello, my name is Sarah Stanland, and I will be a returning junior here at UHV studying political science with a pre-law concentration. Anyone who knows me knows how passionate and dedicated I am to learning. Throughout my time here at UHV, I've worked to spread this love that I have for education by uplifting and empowering my fellow classmates. College, especially the transition into a new learning environment, is a difficulty I realized I shared with everyone around me as an incoming freshman. It really only took one bad grade for me to realize I needed to get serious about my studies, but I didn't know how. I went to the tutoring center, looked up study tips, and talked with upperclassmen about how to effectively study. That's when I began making flashcards, study guides, and detailed notes. I shared my study tools with classmates in study sessions and haven't stopped since. Students have loved getting to connect on an academic level, and I think for a lot of us, it has transformed our college experience. Overall, stepping up and initiating a tone of community, confidence, and academic excellence in the classroom has been a very rewarding decision, as I get to see those who I've worked with become inspired and continue to promote these values at UHV. All right, everyone, this is the SGA and Jack Stop Violence Campus Humanitarian Award. Um, the award recipient's gonna receive a $500 scholarship. Um, so this, this award is basically for people that make a difference on campus, people that are caring, people that truly do care about others. So uh, this year's Campus Humanitarian Award winner is Jose Jimenez. The nominator said this about Jose. I'm nominating Jose because he has always been welcoming to others. Jose is always making residents at Jaguar Village feel like they matter and that they're a part of the UHV family. Jose is not one to leave anyone out and he makes sure that everyone is involved. Jose is constantly going out of his way to help other students. Jose uplifts UHV students and faculty with his welcoming smile and charismatic personality. He makes you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. Ultimately, Jose is genuinely a good person and I can't think of a better Campus Humanitarian Award recipient. Congratulations, Jose, way to go. Congrats to those students. Our final awards for tonight will be our SGA Staff Member of the Year and Faculty Member of the Year. Nominations were collected by students and voted on by the student population. We are honored to present the following winners. For the Staff Member of the Year, Ash Wallachow, Director of Athletics. And our Faculty Member of the Year award goes to Dr. Justin Bell, Philosophy Professor. 
Now, I would like to share my farewell address. I grew up in a single parent household, which made it sometimes challenging to be a kid. I watched my mother work hard every day, and I valued her level of independence. Sometimes the days were hard and the nights were long, but my mother found her little personal techniques to keep herself and her children happy. For instance, I had dance parties with my mom every morning while getting ready for a new day. We often enjoyed listening to Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys once said, be driven, be focused, but enjoy every moment because it only happens once. I carried these words of wisdom throughout my term as the SGA president. I'm so proud of all that we have accomplished this year, and more importantly, we accomplished it all as a team. So before I truly get started, I wanna give a special thank you to the members of the current SGA. The biggest accomplishment was surviving the school year during a pandemic. But despite our situation, our full executive board shows the true dedications by the students to want to improve UHV. I am not a person who opens up easily, despite my extroverted behaviors. But this moment, I want each SGA member to know that I will always appreciate you and cherish the memories that we have made throughout the year. Now that I fought back the tears, I'm happy to share some insight on just what the heck SGA has been up to. We have successfully advocated and reduced meal plans for residential students. We have started a new initiative for our faculty and staff spotlight series. And this series aims to provide a welcoming opportunity to get to know your professors outside of the classroom and learn more about campus resources through our staff presenters. In addition, we have extended University Commons hours that offered more access to campus resources and a space for students to study so that you feel more successful in your academic courses during these times. The SGA Care Packages is where we not only assembled, but also delivered over 435 packages to residential students with masks and other campus resources in response to the pandemic. We have included new shuttle routes, including weekend shuttles, and a route to Riverside, so you can enjoy some fun in the sun. With some new student organization resources, we have increased efforts for marketing campus events and informed students about the opportunities to get involved. But most importantly, the number of committees and task forces that each of us have sat on so that our student voices are heard at the table. The list continues to grow as I speak with you now. Our work here is not done, and the next SGA administration will continue to advocate for the student body's needs and serve as a reminder about the power of the student voices. Thank you all for allowing me to lead this body in the 2020-2021 academic school year, and the best of luck to the future SGA leaders. Go Jags! So thanks to everyone. And now I'd like to introduce our very own Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Jay Lambert, who will provide our closing remarks. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to congratulate all of our winners, all of our new student organizations, and everyone who made it through this year. It's been a tough year. I really look forward to being face to face with all of you next year and hopefully sharing a meal. Good luck on exams and go Jacks.